Warning, this video contains content that's dark and manipulative. It's only for defensive purposes and for entertainment. Viewer's discretion is advised. Like a bow. All right, ladies. So today we're going to get a little dark. And this is something that, how can I say this? It's, it's, it's what makes my channel different from most channels. I'm one of the only dating coaches who sort of um, gives advice with dark psychological tactics. But also, I like to give you guys a warning because I don't want to create a gang of abusers. All right? That, that, that is not my, my purpose. What I, this is more for the knowledge so that it's not used against you guys and so that you guys can use this with appropriate force. In other words, use it responsibly. I'm handing you over a very powerful weapon right now. Use it responsibly because if you mess with the wrong guy, some people have a long memory. And sometimes you don't know you're messing with the wrong guy because usually they're just quiet. They get revenge in the quiet, all right? So be careful who you use it on. Now let's begin. All right, so the key to what we're gonna be talking about in terms of creating pain and giving the pain that he wants it sounds wrong, but it's all about creating guilt and insecurity because guilt and insecurity is what makes somebody more viable to bend to your will. And when you do this, you sort of become the end all be all to a guy. You are the one that's able to wound him and at the same time, heal his wounds. You see, you become the oppressor and you become their liberator in a way, right? But if you really think about it, ladies, just think about this. Anyone who's in love with you, you have that kind of power over them. The problem that happens, the reason why women have unsuccessfully seduced the guys, the reason why some women struggle getting the guys they like is because they're able to bring him in, but they're not willing to give him the finishing blow. Not the, not the kind of blow that we're talking, not the kind of blow that, you know, not that kind of blow, but you know, the finishing blow, all right? Because the key to all of this is this, the lower the lows, the higher the highs. And you think guys don't want that, but think about it. Guys usually want the women who hurt them the most. It is that fucking simple. Guys usually fantasize about the women who, they, who, who causes them to feel more empty inside, who causes reality to seem almost mundane without them in their lives, right? So as wrong as this looks, this is just based on purely observing what works and what doesn't work, right? So if you think this is moral or wrong, then too bad for you, because this is just reality, right? So this is how you do it, right? The first method we're gonna be using, because we're gonna be teaching you guys three different ways to give the pain that the guy wants, right? The first one is this. The good boss effect. What I mean about the good boss effect. A good boss, a good manager, a good master, right? Like it could be a boss at a job, knows how to give praise to an employee, right? A good, a good manager makes you feel good, but a good manager also instills a little fear in you. A good manager instills a little, a little anxiety inside, right? A good manager makes you feel guilty when you do something wrong. That's why women, a lot of women fall in love with their bosses. That's why a lot of women end up liking their boss is because a boss shows a lot of coldness mixed in with warmth. In other words, this is what bosses do, right? Bosses give you harsh criticism. They make you feel a little inferior from time to time, right? They'll tell you, this is what you're doing wrong. You got to fix it, right? And that, and that criticism makes you feel down. So then when you do what's right, they give you praise and all of a sudden they have a control when you feel good and when you feel bad. So how do you do it? How do you use the good boss effect on the guy you're with, right? Simple as this. For the first few weeks of seeing him, right? If you're a nice girl, right? For, it, this applies to the nice girls because if you're, if you're me, if you're a bitch, then you gotta, don't, this doesn't apply to you. But if you're a nice girl, what you wanna do is, is first create a sense of security, right? You, you are consistent with him. You show him your good face. That's how you bring him in, right? You bring him in with the niceness, right? But after a few weeks of knowing him, three weeks, four weeks of knowing him, right? You switch it up and you give him a criticism that's based on his character that's true. For example, if I'm with a woman and she never initiates contact, or if I'm with a woman and she's very critical of people, I could just say, hey, look, man, I'll be honest with you, man. I like you, 
but you criticize people a little bit too much. You know, and and, and 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 it's not that I don't like it, but you just criticize people. It's a little hypocritical of you, man. And I just I don't know about that. Or I could say, hey man, you know what? Every single time we hang out, it's always me having to initiate this. You know, I, I maybe you think you're better than me and stuff like that, but I don't I don't like to roll that way because I give you the respect that you deserve, and and I just feel like you don't give that back. You literally criticize them. Critic find something to criticize. Find anything to criticize that's legit and, and, and for example it could be that that they get get angry a lot the point is find something to criticize and what happens then after you find something to criticize say it and then revert to you being nice right so you give them harsh criticism and then you return to being nice what that does is that it pulls the person's self-esteem down it makes them feel it makes them feel a little little it makes them feel little right and and and, and what they'll want is they want to see that nice version of you it doesn't even have to be criticism. It could be that this, they, did, they did something genuinely wrong and you call them out on it, right? And you show them another face of you. And then once you finish and calling them out on it, once you finish scolding them, you return to being happy. It's almost like when you're when you're a parent, you beat the shit out, not to beat the shit out of your home, right? Hispanic parents do, right? You, you whip them, you say, I, this is because I love you. And then you make them some rice and beans. That contrast of, 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 of criticism, punishment, with love and warmth creates a cycle of addiction that makes people fall in love with you. Now, the first, the key is though, is to, to the key is, is to first create an image in the person's head that you're somebody that's fair, right? So it, it, ta it takes time to do this. So if you, if you already have this image, if you're already a nice girl, you could do this fucking tomorrow. Find something to talk about. For example, the girl that I'm talking to, she got mad at me at something, right? And obviously she was right about it, right? And she was like, hey man, I don't like that you did that. And you know what? When she did, when she said that, for what? Finally, she said something. <laughs> finally, she said something. I felt bad. I felt bad. It works, people. It works. The second thing. So the last one was about creating um, guilt, right? Creating insecurity. But but this, the last one was a little bit too direct. This one is more indirect and more insidious. And to be honest with you, indirect is much better than direct. So all you gotta do is learn how to insinuate things and create insecurities through your insinuations, for example. So you could talk about how, let's just assume he's a skinny guy, right? He's a skinny guy, right? Remember, it's all about creating insecurity. So you could just talk about how, oh man, yeah, I love Will Smith, he's so big, ugh. Man, I love watching him, he's just, he's just so sexy. Stuff like that, right? If you, if you want to feel insecure, just praise a guy that's big and strong, right? Or praise a guy that's rich. Right? Or praise a guy, let's just say this guy has a nine to five, the guy you're talking to. Praise a guy who has um, financial freedom, right? Let me give you my case. The guy, I was, I was talking to a girl and her ex that she loved, right? Was a big black guy, <laughs> right? And he worked out, right? And at the time I was skinny. So she just insinuated that she fell in love with him. It's subtle, but you know what? What happened to me? I started working out. And when I started working out, as I was working out, I wasn't just working out, I was thinking of impressing her as I'm working out, right? You know how some parents that are bad say, I love how, how, how your cousins are, or I love your cousin, he's so responsible. What are you gonna say? Bitch, what the fuck are you saying, man? I'm not responsible too, right? Stuff like that. Praise and talk about people who have traits that he doesn't have. It'll naturally create an insecurity and he'll naturally start to begin to sort of be that better representation that you have in their, in their heads, rather than having that person, they want you to think of them as you think of that person, if that makes any sense, right? Or just talking about how you go to the gym, and he doesn't say he doesn't go to the gym, and she goes to the gym, just talk about how, oh man, all these guys are working now, I love it, man, it, it just motivates me. You don't have to say, I love watching Tyrone fucking do work, no, no, you, you just talk about how you love being in an environment where people work out, and, and just seeing everybody in shape. And it's just that he's a fat soul, like me, right? Look, look, look how fat soul I am, look at that, uh, look at that. Don't, don't do that to me, people. That'll make me feel insecure. And if, and if you guys make me feel insecure, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna close the channel, ladies and gentlemen. That's why, don't make me feel insecure. The next one is this, man. By the way, I want, I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, right? And you'll see them right here, right? Because a lot of them is because of them that this channel has proliferated and has been successful. So say thank you to all of them, all right? The breakup method, the preemptive breakup, right? The preemptive breakup 
is all about creating a little chaos in a guy's life, right? And again, I said this earlier, think about the relationships that you always wanted. It's usually the people who break your heart. This is risky, people. This is risky. Breaking up with people, people are more forgiving than you imagine. People are more forgiving than you could imagine. By you breaking up with him over an argument that's legitimate, that is like, let's just assume that he talked to another girl, or let's just assume that he took a whole day to text you back. Breaking up with somebody shows them that you're somebody who's not to fuck with. Now, this is the key though. You break up with them, you delete their number, you tell them not to contact you, but you find a way to run into him. Again, people, a lot of you guys are not gonna do this because it takes a lot of risk. And I don't recommend you guys do this, but this works, right? It's all about you breaking up with him over something that, that, that is legitimate because everybody has a reason to break up, right? Blocking him, making him feel, feel like you, he's never gonna see you again because it's all, it's all about taking him to the island of despair. A place where he feels like he has no hope for you. And then orchestrating a way to see him, orchestrating a way to run into him. And when you, he, when you do run into him, you act as though you're not mad anymore. You act as though you didn't break up with him. Yeah, my God, it's you. And what that does, it makes him feel, how can I say this? It lowers a person's guard. I, I, I know it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up, but this, it worked on me, people. I'm just letting you guys know, this, this worked on me. Like, I'm not saying that when you break up with him, you see him randomly, right? And then you act co cold. No, 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 no. Because you want to confuse the motherfucker. <laughs> you, you act like you're happy to see him. You act like you were waiting to text him, but you just forgot. You say, hey, let's hang out. Hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna go any further with this method because I could talk about it some other time. But this is fucked up. You gotta make sure who you do this on because this is borderline abuse. But then again, isn't being heartbroken a form of abuse? Isn't being in love a sort of masochistic, indirect way of feeling pain? Ladies and gentlemen, the love, the world of love isn't a place where the nice people thrive. It isn't a place where the morals, some, um, the, where the people who are moral win. It's a place where you gotta be a little cunning and a little strategic, mixed in with love, of course. As long as you genuinely have intentions with this guy and you really wanna be with him, this is how you do it. But it's a little risky. It might create the false, uh, the kind of attachment that you might not want, which is obsession. And it might give you a thirst for more power. So you wanna be careful with this and just see it as entertainment. If anybody does this to you, just realize that this person either one, does not like you or respect you or appreciate you, or they're manipulating you. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in this kind of topic, we're gonna be doing the Art of Seduction next month in my book club on Patreon, right? We're moving over to my website, actually. I'm starting a, web a Patreon on my website because YouTube might shut down, shut down my channel. I don't trust Patreon too much, so I'm doing my own Patreon on my own website as a way to not let them control us. As a way to make sure that this channel continues on in spite of what people think. Because I'm here trying to help the nice girls be bad. At least to get what they want. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies. Um, to all of my Dalexians out there, this is it. That's the word for you guys, Dalexians. Um, don't forget to hit the comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is it fucked up? Has it worked on you? and um, hit the like button and subscribe or hit the notification button so that you guys can get notified when my videos go up. Peace out my friend and enjoy your day. As a way to make sure that this channel continues on in spite of what people think because I'm here trying to help the nice girls be bad at least to get what they want. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right ladies, um, to all of my Dalexians out there, this is it, that's the word for you guys, Dalexians. Um, don't forget to hit the comment let me know what you guys think. Is it fucked up? Has it worked on you? And um, hit the like button and subscribe. Or hit the notification button so that you guys can get notified when my videos go up. Peace out, my friend, and enjoy your day. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos 
based on based on specific issues. Th this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah. For all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i can promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out